The delay has drawn heavy criticism from Congress, with many questioning the FAA's process and its role in slowing down this critical mission. Is it time for the FAA to step aside? Find out more in today's NR Studio episode, Let's Get Started. It's been more than three months since Starship Flight 4, and anticipation is building for Flight 5. However, the FAA has pushed back the milestone until late November, frustrating SpaceX and those who see Starship as critical to America's future in space exploration. As SpaceX pushes the boundaries of aerospace technology, the delay represents a significant setback. The FAA's role in the delay, particularly its heavy-handed regulations, has drawn ire not only from SpaceX, but also from Congress, leading to heightened tensions and calls for reform. The root of the problem lies in the Part 4-50 regulations, which went into effect in March 2021. SpaceX and other commercial spaceflight companies have faced licensing delays because of this regulatory framework. At a House Science Committee Space Subcommittee hearing on September 10th, several officials expressed frustration with the FAA's ineffectiveness. SpaceX's Bill Gersten Mayer warned that the entire regulatory system is in danger of collapsing. He described how the process is stifling progress and directly impacting companies like SpaceX that are driving innovation in space exploration. Dave Cabasa, president of the Commercial Spaceflight Federation, also criticized the system, saying, The way it's currently run has caused serious delays in permitting, confusion, and jeopardized our longstanding leadership position. Cavassa emphasized that the process takes years. Businesses are stuck in a never-ending back-and-forth process. These delays pose a real threat to the United States' position in the global space race as other countries, particularly China, continue to make progress with their space programs. Pamela Meredith, chair of the Space Law Practice Group at KMA Zuckert LLC, echoed similar sentiments, noting the lack of security, lack of transparency, and significant delays. Under the FAA's licensing regime, Representative Brian Babin, the subcommittee chairman, also expressed concern, saying, the licensing process under the new Part 450 process is incredibly slow. The inefficiencies are seen as a major impediment to U.S. space ambitions, especially with NASA's goal of returning to the moon and eventually landing on Mars. Adding to the criticism, Representative Haley Stevens noted, We're in a bureaucratic mess. We know we're not going to get to the moon unless we have commercial spacecraft. So there's something wrong here. Stevens' remarks highlighted the reliance on private companies like SpaceX to achieve NASA's ambitious goals while also underscoring the need to reform the current regulatory process. Despite the criticism, FAA Associate Administrator Kelvin Coleman tried to defend the Part 450 regulations during the hearing. However, his defense was met with resistance from some officials. Representative Rich McCormick, in particular, pressed Coleman on the FOAA's role in the delays, saying, They're the ones who are responsible. You make a difference. Set the pace for getting these projects done. And if what you're doing isn't working, you need to change it. McCormick's remarks underscore growing impatience among the private and public sectors as FAA inefficiencies continue to hamper important advances in space technology. The delay of Flight 5 is not just a setback for SpaceX, but also a broader challenge to U.S. leadership in space. As SpaceX and others push the boundaries of space exploration, outdated regulations threaten to slow progress. As global competition intensifies, particularly from China, many are calling for an overhaul of the FAA's regulatory process to ensure the United States remains at the forefront of the space race. Without rapid change, the United States risks falling behind in this critical area, leading many to wonder whether the FAA should be removed from the industry, as some have suggested, to make way for faster, more effective progress. Facing mounting criticism from various quarters, the FAA has continued to defend its handling of the Starship mission approval process. During a September hearing, FAA Associate Administrator Kelvin Coleman explained that the complexity and changing nature of Starship missions with different flight configurations necessitated license changes and extended timeframes for approvals. The FAA has also previously cited SpaceX's frequent Falcon 9 launches as a factor saying it lacks the staff to process all the necessary licenses, including those for Starship. To address the issue, Coleman said the FAA has developed new tools and expects additional funding to expand its permit review staff.
He also mentioned plans to create an aerospace regulatory committee known as SPARC. After this fall's push to streamline the Part 450 regulatory process, the FAA reiterated its position on licensing at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Global Aerospace Committee on September 11th. Dan Murray, Executive Director of Operational Safety for the FAA's Office of Commercial Space Transportation, said, We work very well with SpaceX. We have a very robust dialogue with them. They get the majority of our resources because they do the majority of the operations. Murray also said the Starship 5 flight schedule is largely driven by the choices the company makes, adding that the flight review process is more complex because it covers a broader area than previous missions. This echoes Coleman's previous statements about licensing changes. The current delays are reminiscent of what SpaceX faced a year ago after Flight 1. At that time, the FAA, along with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, delayed Flight 2 until November 2023, a decision that drew criticism from some government officials. While some changes have been made to address these issues, the FAA's regulatory approach appears to remain unchanged. The FAA's troubling explanation highlights several weaknesses in the system. If the delays were due to staffing shortages, why weren't previous flights similarly impacted? Especially when there was no accident investigation required for this theft. Given the high rate of Falcon 9 launches, the FAA seems to understand that it is struggling to manage rapid technological developments. Furthermore, the modified license argument suggests a resistance to change, which is at odds with SpaceX's vision of continuous progress. Musk has spoken about the negative impact of these delays, not just on SpaceX, but on the American aerospace industry as a whole. Musk stressed that the slow approval process is hampering technological progress, saying that unless there is significant government reform, Laws and regulations will continue to get worse every year until every major enterprise, from high-speed rail to multicultural living, is effectively illegal. In his tweets, Musk also discussed his political views, expressing concern about the future of American innovation without reform. While his comments on political figures like Trump and Kamala Harris may have drawn some opposition, Musk's conclusion is clear. Reform is essential to prevent regulatory delays from stifling progress. For now, it looks like Starship Flight 5 will be delayed by two months or more, putting the space community and industry in suspense. The delays faced by SpaceX and Starship could provide an opportunity for competitors to catch up, with some suggesting that NASA and the FAA may be deliberately delaying SpaceX's progress. At the U.S. Chamber of Commerce's Global Aerospace Corporation on September 11th, Several companies expressed support for the FAA, raising questions about why SpaceX is the only one facing such a hurdle. Brett Alexander, Firefly Aerospace's chief revenue officer, said, We have a long and positive relationship with the FAA's Office of Space Transportation. There are no major concerns about the regulations themselves or how they are enforced. Lars Hoffman, Blue Origin's vice president of government sales, said, it's been a very productive and constructive relationship and dialogue on the new Glenn approval process. This support from other companies makes SpaceX an exception as it continues to face obstacles in its Starship deployment. This has led to speculation that the FAA and NASA are deliberately delaying Starship so that competitors like Blue Origin can launch first. Blue Origin's new Glenn launch was originally scheduled for December but its second flight with a Blue Ring payload has now been pushed back to November, while Starship Flight 5 has been delayed. The first landing would undoubtedly give Blue Origin a leg up in its rivalry with SpaceX. Looking ahead to November, the Starship New Glenn battle could be a defining moment, though both companies have their strengths. Many believe Starship will win. If SpaceX succeeds, it would be a major blow to Blue Origin and any agencies that support them. Along with domestic competitors, China poses a serious challenge to SpaceX and the U.S. aerospace industry in general. These concerns were raised at the September 10th hearing, where Representative Brian Babin warned, I fear that if this happens, the Communist Party will be launching Taikonauts to the moon while American industry is still tied to bureaucracy on Earth. China has made rapid progress in space exploration, including lunar landings, sample retrieval, and the development of the ILRS program, which would rival NASA's Artemis missions. Its goal is to send humans to the moon by 2029 and establish a lunar base by 2030, 
with plans to expand to 2050. China's ambitions extend to Mars. SpaceX is also pushing forward its lunar sample return mission from 2031 to 2028, putting pressure on NASA's Mars sample return plans. On the commercial front, Chinese companies that rely on copycat strategies are also developing reusable rocket technology to compete with SpaceX. While China lags behind SpaceX, its government's steadfast support gives it a significant advantage. Starship, led by SpaceX, is currently the United States' best hope for countering China's rapid advance, but the company continues to be hampered by regulatory hurdles at home. Elon Musk's calls for government reform are becoming increasingly urgent. Finally, if the United States is to maintain its competitive edge, these obstacles must be overcome. The FAA's current approach runs counter to this trend, and it remains to be seen what happens next in this high-stakes space race. Well, that's it for today's episode. 